Yeah, that was one of the Super Bowl ads that a lot of people are reacting to online. The teaser trailer of the hit Netflix show Stranger Things, letting everybody know that the new shows are coming out on Halloween. Creepy! Yeah. Now, usually ads during the Super Bowl almost as talked about as the game itself. I think this year is a little different. Mm -hmm. Dave Saunders, an advertising expert with Madison Maine, is here this morning. So it is kind of flipped this year, right? Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. I tell you, normally the ads are really good. The game's not all that great. This time, the game was spectacular. By the way, Tom Brady's ad... <laughs> Not so spectacular. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. The one that stood out to me, and, and I, I love Christopher Walken. He's oh, yeah. deliciously creepy. You know what <laughs> yes. I mean? And, and I loved him. Was it was the bye bye? Yeah, bye water. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, uh, Justin Timberlake on the couch, and uh, I love it. It was simple. It was funny. Yes. And you remember the product. So it was. Uh, it was in the top three. I thought uh, one of the best ads of the night. Any others that hit? Yeah, what's the second one you like? Well, you know, there were a couple of others that I really liked. My favorite, my absolute favorite of the night was Mr. Clean. Sexy Mr. Mr. Clean. Clean dancing around. <laughs> you know, she is just in love with that bald-headed, you know, earring Mr. Clean. And, uh, well, who is it? He's yeah, right. doing the sexy dance. My wife turned to me and goes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, and so basically it did connect well, to the core audience did. there. It did. And I thought that was really interesting. It shows the changing yeah. demographic that the Super Bowl is really now for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Tide, another one of your favorites? Yeah, like the Tide ad too. The uh, um, the, the idea there the uh, with Terry Bradshaw and, and going like that to that one. so it looks like it's live. And then the best callback in the history of callbacks ever. Late in the game, the game's going really well and then they come back to that ad because uh, um, his colleague also mm -hmm. has a stand on his shirt. Really funny. <laughs> the, the place I was at, basically everybody thought that was pretty good too. The Stranger Things promo I thought was really, really something. But the, uh, the best of the night was actually a promo, I think, for AMC's Walking Dead. 15 seconds, you're staring at this football, and wham, Ooh. there it happens, oh, yeah. just like that, and it's football season is over. Oh, man. And it was simple, funny, shocking, got everybody's attention, got and ours. it really wasn't an ad, it was more of a promo. Yeah, and like you know, it, it was also interesting, a lot of these ads uh, this time, it seemed to feature inclusion, Americana. Yes, you know, there were lots on both sides. The politics played a part, patriotism played a part, you know, normally the Super Bowl's a little bit of a distraction. And we'll right. talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. Hey, but thanks for joining us, stick around. Absolutely. We got more commercials yeah, to talk about. Good to see you. Dave yeah. Saunders. Have some coffee. All right, coming up at 6.30, we're going to talk about the ads that missed the mark and uh, the only one timely theme that a lot of these commercials had. We're going to be digging into that. Mm-hmm.